Ayrton Senna is wildly regarded as one of the greatest racing drivers of all time. Senna has three world titles and 41 race wins to his name, but it is the events at the San Marino Grand Prix that the younger generation best knows Senna for. This tragic weekend saw Senna suffer a fatal accident, and questions from that crash still remain today. In 1994, Senna moved to the Williams team. The season started badly for Senna. U-turn and stalled engine in the Brazilian Interlagos, a poke from Hakkinen and an accident in the first turn on the track in Ida. On the Friday before the race, Senna's protege, Rubens Barrichello, driving for the Jordan team, flipped a curb and crashed heavily at 225 km per hour at the very anti-Bassa chicane. Barrichello eventually regained consciousness, having suffered a broken nose and sprained wrist, though he didn't take part in the rest of the race weekend. Things got even worse on Saturday. During the second qualifying session in the afternoon, Ratzenberger crashed into the concrete wall on the outside of the Villeneuve curve at 314 km per hour due to a suspected front-wing failure. Senna got inside a coarse car and arrived on scene as Ratzenberger was taken into an ambulance. From there, news broke that Ratzenberger had passed away, with Senna and neurosurgeon Sid Watkins leaving the medical center together. Watkins told Senna he didn't have to race again and suggested he withdraw from racing and go fishing with him, with the Brazilian stating he couldn't stop. The black cloud that hung over the Autodromo Enzo e Dino Ferrari that weekend continued once the lights turned green on race day. Pedro Lamy and J.J. Leto were involved in a serious crash when the Lotus driver slammed into the back of the stalled Benetton. Debris flew everywhere and caused minor injuries to a police officer and eight spectators. The collision resulted in a safety car being deployed, driven by Max Angelelli. The safety car remained on track for five laps. The race resumed on lap 6, with Senna leading and Schumacher behind him in second. The next lap saw Senna's Williams lead the track in a straight line at Tombarello and crash into a section of unprotected concrete barrier. Telemetry showed that Senna entered the corner at 309 km per hour, braked hard, downshifted twice and then impacted the wall at 211 km per hour. Immediately after the crash, Senna made a slight movement with his head, raising hopes regarding his injuries. At 3.10 pm, Senna's heart stopped beating, doctors restarted his heart, and he was placed on a life support machine. Senna's heart stopped beating again at 6.37 pm, and it was decided not to restart it. <laughs> 